UFC Fight Night Long Island, Ortega versus Rodriguez takes place this weekend. UFC on ABC3, and I cannot wait for this card. And I'm going to go through the full card breakdown, and in detail predictions, it's a great card, crowded event card, UBS Arena. I can't wait for this card. Let's get straight into the prediction, starting with the early prelim opener of Jessica Penne versus Emily Dakota. I'm going to go Emily Dakota here. Uh, I think she'll get this one done. She's a slight favorite for a reason. I think Emily Dakota is going to go out there and get it done. She's 28 years old. She's on a good winning streak right now over decent competition. I guess you could say Juliana Lima, a girl that was in the UFC before. Same with Danielle Taylor, and she beat a 9 and 3 girl. And that girl, I don't know how to say that name. But she's really, she's actually kind of decent. And I think she'll go out there and get the job done. And she beat Catherine Paparaki, Paparaki who was on the Contender Series. She did lose to Lima Leigh McFarlane, but she's kind of good at Bellator. Now, she was on a bit of a losing streak to 3-2, and 1-0, and oh, girl, 6-0, and oh, you know. I know she was on a bit of a losing streak there, but I think that was back in 2018-2017 era. And she's been part, she was doing good with good wins. Doctor stoppage, right cross to a head kick, unanimous decision. As if Jessica Penne, who has she done? What has she done, really? I just don't trust her to win this one. I, I'm not going to pick her to win. Um, She was supposed to have a full cap here, but against Brianna Fortino, but... She pulled out, so Emily Dakota here. She was supposed to fight Luana P uh, Pinero as well. I'm gonna go with. Uh, I'm actually gonna go Emily Dakota here. I think she's good enough to win with the grappling and win herself a unanimous decision. The Pita Gardinez is good. Um, she arguably won against Penne. I don't think. I don't mind that going to Penne on damage here and there, and with some good armbar attempts, but. I just think she'll win it. Her win over Carolina Kovacavich is looking decent, and and. To be honest, going to a split decision with Lupita Gardena is pretty good in hindsight. But also, it was a short notice fight, and it would probably would have been it would have been a clear win for Gardena if it was full camp. I'm gonna go Dakota out grappling her for the first two rounds. Maybe third round it will be tricky, but Dakota wins it. Moving on up the card, Dwight Grant versus Dustin Stolt uh, Dustin Stolt uh, Dustin Stoltzfus. That's an easy name to say. I don't know why I'm struggling on that stuttering. But um I'm gonna go Dwight Grant. I'm gonna I'm gonna say here, I think Dwight Grant's good enough. I just haven't found Dustin Saltfus at good at, at all. Not at all. I've found him not impressive at all. Yeah, haven't found him impressive at all. Um I don't know why he's in the UFC, honestly. He lost for Kyle Dawkins, which isn't even aging well since it was and same with the Rodolfo Vieira loss. Not aging well, and we see Mearshot just lost as well. Like, all of his losses are not even aging well. As of Dwight Grant, he is on a bit of a losing streak, so it's kind of like he has to get this one done here as well. He arguably lost to Stefan uh, Sekulic there. So he's really on a four-fight losing streak. The Ronaldo fight should have been a draw, but you know what I'm saying. I just don't see Dustin Stoltzfus doing much in the grappling department here, and I think Dwight Grant's just, just, I think he's very good. Dwight Grant, um, I think he's very good, um, it's worrying here, he could get clipped in that, but he trains with, Sir, he, not, I just said he trains with Sir, his last opponent, he, uh, he trains at AKA, he lost to Sergey Kando, uh, Kandosko, but Sergey Kandosko is a freaking great fighter, and we just seen Trinaldo, he went into a close decision with Trinaldo, Trinaldo just got a really good win a few months ago over Danny Roberts. I just think he'll go out there and get the job done. He beat. It's a risky one here, though. It's a risky one, but I think he can go out there and beat a Dustin Stoltzfus, who is not that great at all. He's tough, but, like, I don't know. I don't even mind Dwight Grant's sub, but I'm not going to go for that. He got KO'd by this guy in kickboxing but with a one punch. But I think Dwight Grant's going to go out there and get a first-round KO. Maybe Stoltzfus gets him down early, but... Dwight Grant will work his way back up, land some shots, and just catch Stoltzfus out of nowhere, put him out cold. It's risky, though. I don't know with this one, man. I really don't know. I'm going to trust Dwight Grant to win this one, though. Moving on up the card. Also, he's, uh, he has a reach advantage, one and a half inch in reach. So I'm picking him. Moving on up the card. Dustin Jacoby versus Da Eun Young. Ah. Uh, 
Topology's leaning 51% Jacoby. I'm going to go Dustin Jacoby. I think he's pretty good. Um, he's risky at times, though. He is risky, but I think to beat him, you kind of have to out-wrestle him. And Ewan, Ewan Gutilaba is just a... He's just strong. Usually, he has good takedown defense. But it's just Eon could tell up early in those rounds. It just, like, picks you up. It doesn't matter how good takedown defense you have, really. I know Ryan Spence is a minute with the guillotine. But I think I'm going to I'm, I'm gonna choose Dustin Jacoby to win this one. He beat Mikel Oleksiejczuk. And that's a pretty decent win. He outstruck Oleksiejczuk after struggling early on. John Allen, he beat comfortably as well. I know he didn't look great in those fights. But he put away Darren Stewart easily. And he came back and rallied in the last two rounds. Against Ion Gutilaba. And he did alright against Grishin. Maxim Grishin. He arguably lost. But he did alright. So it's either Da Eun Young just absolutely destroys him in round 1. Or that's two. This is two ways that this can go. One. Da Eun Young smacks up. And destroys Jacoby in the first round. Out cold. Good win Da Eun Young. Or Da Eun Young has a good first round. But starts to slow down when the fight goes on. I think that's the option. Jacoby is open, but he does have a good chin to make up for it. Like it's kind of like, it's kind of like Max Holloway. Like he does like leave himself open here and there, but he has a good chin. Max Holloway is starting to starting to lose that chin. He still has it on him after that Volkanovski fight, but it's kind of like that. And I think Jacoby's gonna go out there and get it done. Mikel looks like your kids hard. You know he took some shots off him. John Allen not really. Took 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 shots off Gute Laba and he showed heart there. I'm going to trust him to go out there and get it done. I, This is a really weird card to pick, but I think Dustin Jacoby is going to go out there and get it done over Da Eun Young, who just is good, Da Eun Young. I like Da Eun Young. His win over Nizza Chuk, who was looking very good. Very good. He hasn't lost since. I know he lost to Nigga Mariano, but Nigga Mariano couldn't even finish him. So, And arguably went to Nizza Chuk in that fight. So, really looking. Uh, it is looking good. Where's William Knight? Where's Sam Alvey? You went to a draw with. Where's Mike Rodriguez? Where's Kadis Ibrahimov? You know? That's true. We just won yesterday. Yesterday night against Carl Roberson. So, yeah. Um, Jacoby's older. So, I, pre I prefer if it's Dalton Young gets the win here. But, I'm going to take Jacoby, sadly. Moving on up the card. Um, moving on up the card. Bill Algio. Versus Herbert Burns. I'm going to trust the way... I'm going to trust... Um, who do I trust to win this one? Another close fight here. I'm going to go... Uh, these ones, man. I'm I'm going to go... I'm going to go with... Bill Algio. I'm going to go with here. I like Herbert Burns. I think he's good. But it's just... I just don't trust him to win this one at all. I just, I just don't trust him to win this one. Um, yeah, I, he has been off for almost two years now. Year, yeah. He's been off for like a, been off for a year and eleven months. Not a good look at all. And he didn't really take much damage against Daniel Pineda, and he got destroyed in that fight by Daniel Pineda. I just don't trust him there. He did beat Evan Dunham. I forgot he beat Evan Dunham. I thought he just beat Lanware and then moved on to Pineda. But he beat Lanware. He, he beat Lanware, which is a good win. I just don't trust him to win this one. We've seen he lost before in 1FC um, to 7-1, 11-0. Savages, of course. But I just don't see him winning. I don't see it going well here. I think Bill Algio is just going to outstrike him for three rounds. It's risky, though. It is risky, but Ricardo Lama struggled against him. That was a short notice fight, and Spike Carlisle had nothing, and Carlisle is pretty good himself. And Ramos, that was a close fight. He arguably could have won, and Ramos was seen spinning elbow guys out cold, uh, like guys like that last guy he beat. Forgot his name, Danny Chavez, and he beat John Justin Brito. He just KO'd Andre Feely out cold. So. Uh, I'm going to trust him to win this one, Bill Algio. It's risky, but I think he can go out there and outstrike Burbert Burns on the feet. He is pretty decent. He's kind of mediocre, but he is pretty decent. 
I think he goes out there and wins it. I like Bill Algeo in this one. He's younger, one year younger, which isn't really anything, but I, I just think Bill Algeo is going to outstrike him for three rounds. He's going to be taller here as well, three inch um, height advantage. Uh, reach advantage for Burns, but I just don't think Burns wins it. I just don't think he's that great at all. I don't think he's good at all whatsoever. He's supposed to fight. Uh, he was supposed to fight a 23 now. Guy and Kuzian Ashkabov, uh, which Ashkabov pulled uh, Ashkabov pulled out. Ashkabov probably would have destroyed him. But um, yeah, um, I'm gonna go Bill Algeo. I don't see Burns having any KO power on the feet. Could KO him, but we haven't seen Algeo go down yet. And uh, maybe he can get out grappled, but I think Algeo is just good enough to win. Moving on up the card, um, to Ricky Simone versus Jack Shore. I like this my fight, man. For the hardcores, this is a great fight. The winner of this one is definitely going to move forward and do very, very well. Uh, I just think... I'm going to go Ricky Simone, I think, in this one. I, I think Jack Shore's really good. I think I like Jack Shore. I think he's very good. Um, I just don't think he wins this against Ricky Simone. We have seen Jack Shore... Uh, kind of tired, and we've seen him taken down before, he, um, he is 27 years old, but he didn't win against Team Valia. first off, and that's nothing to do with that, there's other fights that I'm going to look at, but he didn't win against Team Valia at all, he just didn't win that one, I don't think Valia won either though, I thought that was a draw, the first two rounds for Valia, last round was a 10-8 for, 10-8 round for Jack Shore, so I don't know if anyone won that fight. It was sure, definitely. I'll give you that, but but it wasn't his win. I don't believe. Um, I thought it was a draw. Um, he did beat Ludovic Shulinian, but and he did win that fight comfortably. But he didn't dominate Shulinian. And now people are gonna pick. Oh, Jack Schwartz gonna KO Simone. He couldn't KO a short notice guy in Shulinian. And fair play, he put away No No Helen Hernandez. That guy that lost to Marlon Vera on short notice. And he beat Aaron Phillips, but how good are these guys? Not he's not e they're not even too good. He struggled against Hunter Azure. 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 Hunter Azure. He struggled against Hunter Azure. I know Hunter Azure is good. But like he made that fight close and what's the who wins? Gr Ricky Simone or Hunter Azure in a grappling fight? Grappling match. You know who wins. It will be, who will it be, um, you know who wins, it will be, what is it, you, oh, Simone or, or, um, Azure, in a grappling fight, Simone, of course, I think Ricky Simone gets this one done, first two rounds, I think he wins comfortably, just being too strong, I think the first round's gonna be clear, Ricky Simone, not, not for a 10 or anything, but I think he'll, Try getting a rear naked choke attempt. Take down some short early. He'll win the second round, but he'll start to slow down towards the ending. But it won't be enough for sure. And third round will be sure, definitely. Not enough for a 10-8, but he'll go get it. He'll get it. I think Ricky Simone gets it done. Um. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Um. I'm just... I, I just think he'll win it. I think he'll win it. And Hunter Azure just lost by Rene Kachoke in that last one. Iconic, Iconic C2. A, tw a 21 and 11 guy. Not a good look at all. So, I'm going to definitely pick him to win this one. How old is Simone? How old is he? He's 29 years old. So, preferable if Jack Shore gets it. But I think Simone gets it. Honest, um, if I'm honest with you. Moving on up the card. To the headliner of the prelims. What is this card layout? Soriano or Lungyambula won't be anything at all. They both... Technique wise, suck. Simone Shore should be headlining those prelims. Whatever though. Soriano, Punaheli Soriano versus Delta Ling and Bula. I'm gonna talk about the fight though. Um, I'm gonna go for Punahel Soriano here. Punaheli Soriano. Um, is it Punahel or Punaheli? I'll just I'll just say Punaheli. Sounds better. Punahel, Punaheli. Uh, I think Punaheli Soriano gets this one done. I think this is a pretty self-explanatory prediction here. It's worrying, though, because he did lose to Nick Maximov. Um, but Maximov just lost to 
Andre Petrovsky, so it is a bit worrying, but he did well in that fight on damage. He didn't just do, he didn't get, it wasn't, it wasn't quite his win though. But, um, he put away Daska Jovic, which is good. And, but I just don't, uh, he's not great. He did lose to Brendan Allen, but he made it competitive here and there, stayed in here. I don't think Lincoln Bula will probably stay in there. And he looks well. Lincoln Bula, I don't think, will just outrange him. Um, I think he does have a reach advantage if I'm going to look right now. 76 inch reach to 72. He does have a reach advantage here. Will he use it correctly, though? That's the thing. Will he use it correctly? I don't know. He did lose to Cody Brundage. Um, but we just seen Brundage yesterday. And, uh, yesterday just got a KO over Trey on Gore, so... I don't know, and he did well before, he did well against Brundage, I don't know, this one's actually a close one, but I'm gonna go Punelli Soriano, he does have a huge reach disadvantage though, so it is worrying, so I might change a few, few picks here and there, but Marcus Perez, he made that competitive, Mark andre Barrio, he lost that one, got front kicked by Ankalaev, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, they go to war, Punelli just tags him, has the better chin. 29 years old to 34. Yeah, I'm going to go Punelli Soriano. Moving on up the card. KO in the first round where they go back and forth. He gets cracked. He gets the big shot. Puts down Dolce. Moving on, though. Up the card. Um, To the main card. <coughs> to the main card. Lauren Murphy versus Misha Tate. I'm going to go Misha Tate. I think Misha Tate's going to get this one done. Um... I just think Misha Tate's going to get get this one done with the grappling here. She did all right against Ketlin Vieira, which is decent. Ketlin Vieira is pretty good. She did all right. It's not really good in hindsight because I thought Holly Holm actually just won straight up against Ketlin Vieira. So. But Ketlin Vieira is good, so that's not really a bad loss. She did lose to... Um, she did win against Marion Renault, but which isn't the greatest. But that's all I can really think of. Well, that's all I really can straight go off of because... It's different times from the Raquel Pennington loss to the Marion Renault win. I think she'll got then used to wrestling now. She easily had manhandled Marion Renault, whereas when Marion Renault fought Macy Chasson, she um won a round against Chasson. When she seen Chasson just won against Norma Dumont. So I think she'll go out there and now grapple Lauren Murphy, who just isn't great at all. She's older. She did. She got dominated by Shevchenko. Now that's not really aging too well. Since Shevchenko, in some dumb people's eyes, thought she lost to Tyler Santos. But even then, she made it really close and competitive against Tyler Santos. But she didn't win against Joanne Wood. She didn't win against Joanne Wood. Joanne Calderwood. She didn't win that fight. It was a complete robbery. I just don't see her winning this one. Like, she made it close against Roxanne Modafferi. She arguably lost to Andrea Lee, so really her wins are Mara, R- M- Mara Romero Barella, Moxan Modafferi, and Lilia Shakirova, which are just absolute bums and cans just coming in here. Like, they're both not good at all. Um, yeah, lucky to get to a title shot, let's be real, but I think she'll lose here. Get out grappled. I don't think she'll have anything on the feet. It'll be interesting in the feet, though, because Misha Tate doesn't have much striking at all. At all. It looked terrible against freaking Ketlin Vieira, but... <clears throat> I think she'll go out there and get it done with the grappling. It's whoever starts off first. I don't know. I don't see Murphy out grappling Tate. I just, I just don't see that, and I think that's the only way she kind of has to win. I don't see her having any good stand-up. She has power. She does have power, but Tate's kind of tough. So, I'm going to go Tate there. I think she'll get it done. Decision. I don't see her getting a finish. I just don't see it. She could get a rear naked. I don't mind that. But I think Murphy's just going to stay in there. Keep it tough. She'll lose, though. Every single round. Dominated. 30-27. Misha Tate. Moving on up the card. Shane Burgos versus Charles Jordan. Great fight here. I'm going to go for Shane Burgos still in this one. I'm slightly leaning his way here. I like Charles Jordan. I like Charles Jordan here, though. Um, I like Charles Jordan. I like Charles Jordan. He's twenty six years old. Very, very good fighter and prospect. He submitted Lando Venado with relative ease. Easy. Lando Venado has pants. He got pants. 
His shorts fell off, of course, that moment. Beat Andre Yule. He's very good, Charles Jordan. I just think sometimes he has lack of IQ here and there. And Shane Burgos, I think, doesn't really cap it. I think Shane Burgos always comes to scrap. We haven't really seen Shane Burgos lack some IQ here and there. Of course, he does in some fights, but, like, he put away Kurt Hollibaugh. Close fight against Swanson where he wins. Put away Makwani Mirakani. Makwani Mirakani. Close fight against Emmett. You know, really good close fight against Emmett. Of course, he did get knocked out by Edson Barboza, which is the only worry I really have here. Other than that, I just he put he did really well against Billy Quantillo in a scrap. I just don't see I don't see Jordan winning this one. I don't see if it goes to the ground, it might lean the favor maybe towards Shane Burgo. So I'm actually gonna go with there in terms of the bottom, what he has on his back. But if it's more like um, offensive grappling, we can get the subs maybe Jordan. But I just don't see it going there. I think we'll be on the feet. If anyone's going to shoot for a takedown, I'd say Burgos. And maybe Jordan can latch up the gilly. But I just think sometimes he does lack. And he did get subbed by Julian Arosa. And he beat Marcelo Rojo, but that was a close fight. And maybe if it was a full camp, Rojo wins. As draw to Kleba is not looking... It is looking pretty good. I'll give him that. But lost to Feely and Scrap. I just don't see him winning this one. Where is Duhu Choi at this point, man? Where is he? I think it'll be a scrap. Jordan will slow down as the fight goes on. Maybe he'll drop Burgos early on, but gas out for a finish. And come, and Burgos will win the second round. Get like a 29-27, I'm going to go with. 29-27, unanimous decision. Jordan will tough it out. Like, because he is, he, he goes to war every time. He'll tough it out. But it'll be a 10-8 in the third round, let's say. Jordan to 29-27. Moving on up the card, Matt Schnell versus Sumo Duerji. I'm going to go Sumo Duerji. I think Sumo Duerji is going to get this one done. I like Matt Schnell. I, like, I do like Matt Schnell in this fight. Um, I just don't... I just don't see anything much from him. I just don't see him winning. I really don't see him winning this one. He got submitted by Brandon Royval relatively easily, you know. He got submitted by Roy Val and he tapped both arms. He tapped both hands with both hands. I just don't think he's that good. He got a grapple by Rodrigo Bonterin, who just isn't that great himself. Made it really close against Dyson Nam. I just don't think he's that good, if I'm honest with you. I don't think he's too great. He got KO by Alejandro Pantoja. I, I just don't see him winning this one. I think Sumo is going to get it done by KO in the first round. Yeah. And Sumo if he needs to, can grapple. Now, he didn't put away... Uh, he didn't put away Zaruk Adeshev, though. That's the thing. He didn't put away Zaruk Adeshev, but... He put away Malcolm Gordon, who is better than Zaruk Adeshev, let's be real. And Andre Sukum taught. He gets subbed by Lewis Smoker, but this was way back then, I think. 2018, that's only, but I think he'll go out there and get the job done. Yeah. I think he'll go out there and get done in the first round. Matt Chanel will try to shoot. I'll just go, f I'll go big knees, hurt Chanel. Chanel tries to land back, gets clipped with a big right counter. I'll go to Matt, Sh I'll go with Sumo Duerge getting that done. Moving on up the card, Li Jing Liang versus Muslim Salikov. I'm gonna go with. Hmm. Now I was leaning Salikov. I was leaning the way of Salikov here. I'm gonna go Li Jing Liang now, I think. I am going to go Li Jing Liang over Muslim Salikov. I like Li Jing Liang here, man. He is 34 years old, and he is a bit older, but it's just Muslim Salikov. I'll start with him first. I just think he's, I just think he's just, he's just 38 years old, and it's just worrying at this point. Last time I saw him, he was 37. Like, he didn't look good against Trinaldo at all, and I know Trinaldo can still be in here and there and have good fights, but... I just don't trust you. And he was getting cracked now. I showed a good shin, to be fair. But 
He hasn't been in there in over a year now. And he arguably lost to Luzio Zaleski de Santos, who Li Jingliang handled quite e quite handily, like who who he handled quite easy, quite easily. I just don't see him winning. I don't think he's the right, same guy. He got subbed by Garcia there. And Li Jingliang's good. I like Li Jingliang. He's 34. He did lose to Hamza Chimaev and got absolutely destroyed by Hamza Chimaev, but. We just seen Chimaev is about to get a title shot. He beat, he beat Gilbert Burns. But he KO'd Santiago Ponzinibbio, who we all had Ponzinibbio winning that one. Um, and he came back after a long layoff. More of a long layoff than Salikov, I'll be, I'll be fair there. But we didn't think Ponzinibbio was going to get chinned like that. He did get grappled by Magny and Matthews, but Magny's all right. Not the greatest. Matthews is looking really good. Just beat Andre Fialho. And he beat Eligio Zaleski Dos Santos with, with, uh, with a punches there. Beat David Zawada. Beat Deachi Abe um, there as well. I think, she'll, I think he'll go out there and get it done over Muslim Salikov. I think it's quite silly if you pick Salikov. He can go out there and just grapple, but he'll eventually have to gas. Like, he lost to Eligio Zaleski Dos Santos, who is good, but Li Jing Liang handled him cor- uh, correctly. And correctly. Handled him pretty easy. Pretty easily. I think he'll go out there and beat Muslim Salkov. KO. No, I'm going to say scrap back and forth where, 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 where Jing Liang wins on knockdowns. I'm going to go. Moving on up the card. Michelle Watterson to the Coleman event. Michelle Watterson versus Amanda Lemos. I'm going to go Amanda Lemos. I think I'm going to go for here. Damage. She, she's really a damaging fighter. I like Amanda Lemos in this one. I just don't see this going well for Michelle Watterson after I think she got injured as well from that Amanda He boss fight. I just don't I just don't see her winning this one. I just think it's a bad matchup. I don't know why she took it, but I guess to get the money. Um yeah, she lost to Marina Rodriguez, which isn't bad, but she arguably is on a freaking four fight losing streak. She arguably she lost to Angela Hill on my eyes, on my books. And yeah, she beat Felice Harry, Karolina Kovalkovic, but I just don't see her winning. That's the thing. I just That's the problem. I just don't see her winning this one. I think she'll just get out, scrapped, outreached. I think she has a reach disadvantage here, if I'm mistaken. Um, yep, yeah, three-inch reach advantage. Three-inch advantage in reach for Amanda Lemo. She's a... Watterson can win. She's a huge underdog, so you can better if you want, but it's just... I just don't see her winning. And Amanda Lemos is good. She did lose to Jessica Andrade, but Andrade is very good herself. And she arguably lost to Angela Hill uh, uh, herself uh, there as well. I can't speak. I think she'll win it, though. I, th- I think she will win it. Um, Get the job done. She beat Montserrat Ruiz, Lavinia, Lavinia Hanata Souza. Um, I know those girls are not that great, but she handled them pretty easily in the first round, so... I think she'll get a 29-28 decision here. Winning first two rounds, lose the third. I think Amanda Lemos gets it. Moving on up the card, Brian Ortega to the main event. Brian Ortega versus Yair Rodriguez. I'll put more of an individual breakdown prediction for this tomorrow, so I'll keep this brief. I'm going to I'm gonna go for Brian Ortega. I thought about it. At first, I was picking Ortega. Then I was like, you know what? Maybe Yair can maybe get him, but... I think Ortega's going to win by guillotine choke. I'm saying it now. He'll win by guillotine, I think. I think Yair just dips his head too much, man. I think he dips his head too much. Kind of like the Canelo rule. I think Ortega, if he latches it up, it's over. Unless you're Volkanovski. I just don't see Ortega losing this one, man. I think he's going to go out there and win it. He did well against Volkanovski. He did better than Korean Zombie. I'm arguably better than Max Holloway. I'll give you that as well. Like, in the trilogy, of course. Like, I just think he's going to go out there and get it done. Um, He did lose to Max Holloway himself, but listen, he dominated Korean Zombie. Dominated him. Looked good on the feet. And if it's going to be on the feet, Brian Ortega could get his legs chewed up. But he dealt with him all right. He dealt with them okay against Volk. Checked a lot of them early on. I, I think he's got this one in the bag. He's got guillotines. He's going to go for them. He did against Moicano, Swanson, knocked out Edgar. So, yeah. If it's on the feet, Rodriguez can win, but Ortega can check the leg kicks and also can take down 
Rodriguez off them like Jeremy Stevens did. So, yeah. Um, and Frankie Edgar did well. We'll see, though. Ortega could be doing well on the feet. Like, Ortega dominated the Korean Zombie, Chan Sung Jung. As of which, Chan Sung Jung was winning comfortably against Yair Rodriguez. I understand Rodriguez took it on short notice. And he did get the elbow at the end, but... I think Yair's gonna lose, man. I think he's got more to worry as of Ortega. He just needs to check the leg kicks here and there. Watch out for big, uh, big wheel kicks, spinning kicks, spinning technique with the legs and kicks from Yair. Yair's not gonna KO with one punch or anything. Ortega's got a chin on him. I think Ortega gets it done. Like and subscribe. And yeah, I just I think he's the favorite here as well. Slight favorite. It's even, but I'm leaning Ortega. 60 to 40 percent. Ortega, I think, wins at T City. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching this. Uh, the full card breakdown and detail predictions for UFC on ABC3. Ortega versus Rodriguez. UFC Fight Night Long Island. And yeah.